Hi, it's Feta here and welcome to my channel. So if you watched my previous videos, you know that recently I moved in into my new apartment, my old new apartment, let's say, and did a massive cleaning and a bit of renovation and decluttering. And today, when everything is done, I had that thought, you know, why does it feel so satisfying to declutter? Uh, because I've noticed this long ago that uh, when I do my cleaning and do my decluttering and organizing things, um, it makes me feel so good. And decluttered clean space, it actually keeps me in a good mood and, gen and in general makes me happier. I feel happier and I can concentrate more on things uh, I have to do and on my plans. Um, so I thought uh, maybe there are some, some scientific uh, proofs that why it happens. And I did my research and found some really interesting facts and studies and today I'd like to share them with you. I have got total of five uh, ways uh, decluttering can make you feel healthier both uh, physically and mentally and to start with, with uh, decluttering can reduce your stress levels according to recent uh, research at the University of California uh, clutter can cause feelings of stress and fatigue and even depression so they did that study uh, and they asked uh, people how they feel in their house houses. So, and they noticed that those who described their homes as full of unfinished projects, uh, full of clutter, and so on and so forth, those people they uh, had uh, increased levels of stress hormone cortisol throughout the day. And on the contrary, those who had uh, their homes are uh, in a like decluttered and cleaned uh, way who incorporated some calm some nature vibes into it they have uh, on the opposite uh, decreased levels of hormone cortisol throughout the day so uh, the interesting thing is that uh, they actually noticed that women so wives uh, in those homes they uh, suffered more from uh, that clutter so that's I don't know why is that but it seems like women um, tend to be more depressed about uh, their homes if they are cluttered so basically um, since decluttering reduces stress uh, it's no wonder it can affect your sleep but what's more important I found out is that you at least uh, declutter your bedroom or the place you sleep whatever it is. And I have read an article recently about a woman who struggled with insomnia. And guess what? Decluttering therapy helped her out. I mean, uh, how cool is that? You know, decluttering therapy and insomnia. Uh, and I also leave a link to the, to the article um, in, the, in the description box below. But to be honest, uh, to me, this is not an issue. It's not quite relevant. I don't think that clutter affects my sleep any, in any way. But uh, if you have the feeling that it affects your sleeping disorder, your sleep, or, um, you might be interested in this article. And uh, it, it really shows correlation between sleep disorder and decluttering. And we move on to the next uh, point. Okay, decluttering can boost your productivity. So clutter is visually distracting and it can basically affect uh, our ability to concentrate. That's what I found out. And uh, we may think that all that mess, it doesn't matter and that, you know, it doesn't influence and doesn't affect us in any way, but it does. So, the scientists at Princeton University, they found out that uh, the human brain actually likes order. Uh, that means that uh, constant visual distractions like clutter, it uh, actually drains our cognitive resources and it's harder for us to focus on things and to process information at all. So, 
they also found that the participants, uh, those participants in their study, after they decluttered their workspaces, like their desks and cabinets and all that, they showed uh, the increased level of productivity and the ability to focus and uh, actually process information better. And let's move to the next point, is that decluttering can help you eat better. So, uh, the stress triggered by clutter can actually affect our eating habits. And scientists and Cornell University showed that actually uh, people um, are more likely to eat unhealthy food uh, in a cluttered spaces. So, of course, I think that there will be, and there are multiple reasons why people eat unhealthy, but, um, you know, just in case, I think it's a good idea to declutter your like kitchen and your dining area just to, you know, uh, just to not uh, trigger in that overeating bad food and comfort food habit. Okay, and the next point is somehow connected to uh, the previous one. Decluttering can help you lose weight. So, uh, scientists uh, at Florida University, at Florida State University, revealed uh, a link between obesity and clutter. Basically, they found out that people with extremely cluttered homes were 77% uh, more likely to be overweight, overweight. so like 77%, can you imagine that? Uh, so basically, it depends uh, on our lifestyle as well. So once we have that busy lifestyles, um, it's harder for us to find time to cook, it's harder for us to find time to clean and to declutter, so we tend to eat what's uh, faster to cook or we order uh, food or we eat uh, unhealthy snacks so that is somehow connected with our lifestyle I guess but anyway um, I'll uh, give a link to that study in the description box below as well so that you can read that and find maybe a way uh, to um, cope with uh, eating disorders uh, if you have any related to clutter. Okay, so uh, in a nutshell, what I wanted to say is that there is no wonder that uh, decluttering makes me exactly <laughs> feel uh, better and happier. But uh, what I suggest is um, uh, first uh, you Google those uh, decluttering and cleaning techniques. There are plenty of them out there, like Conmory, Fly Lady, or even the concept of minimalism. You know, all that uh, can help you make your way to decluttering and make your way to feel happier and be more healthy. And uh, I also would like to, you know, Mm, to suggest to look at uh, the process of decluttering from the everyday aesthetics perspective. So, uh, to me, when I declutter, it's uh, obvious what uh, I should uh, keep and what I should get rid of. So, basically, the principle is uh, if uh, the item has some benefits to me and if I like it, if it brings me joy, then I keep it. If uh, I enjoy the item, but I know that it doesn't serve any other purpose, there is no benefit in it, I let it go, and uh, vice versa. So if uh, I think that the item is very practical and I use it every day and all that, but I just can't stand the way it looks, the, the way I feel about it, uh, then I also let it go. So these are my thoughts on decluttering and this is what I uh, googled uh, regarding the scientific way of things and I hope you guys enjoy and I hope it was helpful for you so let me know in the comments below if you experience any uh, conditions uh, I described and if you managed to cope with them and uh, if decluttering helped you out thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in my next videos